The flight took them more than a year to plan, and it's easy to understand why. They broke the world records for distance and duration for a gas balloon flight. And tonight, the pilots are on solid ground after spending nearly a week up in the air. Danielle Tedesco was at the Sunport today when they arrived. She joins us live tonight at the Balloon Museum, where crews track that flight's every move. Danielle. Tom, both pilots agreed that this is the place that made it all possible. Mission control was set up inside the Balloon Museum here, the balloon capital of the world. And now they will able to be they'll be able to put up banners boasting two new world records. Too long from now, the crowd is gathering. We're and gonna... what a crowd it was. A huge turnout ready and waiting to welcome a local pilot and his Russian counterpart here to Albuquerque. We're ecstatic that they're coming in. We can't wait. I'm sure they're anxious to be okay. home, too. They were so anxious, in fact, that they pushed the revolving door too hard and got stuck. <laughs> but just for a moment, then. After a few minutes of hugging, it was time to answer the tough Thank questions. You so Thank you. We've broken all records of cooperation and uh, friendship. Yeah. Russian pilot Leonid Tukatayev said he and Albuquerque pilot Troy Bradley are brothers now. Bradley says they had busy times making sure they stayed at the right altitude in the morning and evening, but in between, they were able to dine together on cheese and crackers. Inside the capsule, they were actually quite warm. The only problem, no showers. So what was the first thing you wanted to do? A shower. That's exactly the first thing I wanted. Not a lot to ask for, right? Sounds normal. So the pilots say it's time to get back to normal life. But Troy Bradley did tell me today we have not seen the last of his record breaking adventures. So stay tuned. Live at the Balloon Museum, Danielle Tedesco, KOB Eyewitness News 4.